You've lost so much. Life will be much harder if you can't speak. These stairs are the entrance to your prison. It's a truly massive structure. Where you woke up, and this sandy area here, are just small parts of it. This place is called... The Cage? And now, the moment you've been waiting for... of sand. I wonder how such a thing came to pass. Make sure you don't get any grit in your eyes. I wonder where all of this sand is going. Let's head for the shiny black light up there. These strange statues are scattered throughout the cage. I don't know who made them. But I call them Dark Scarecrows. Anyway, this is the first one, so we'll start here. good upbringing moves across a vast wasteland. A taciturn man follows. The boy proceeds uneasily, his eyes constantly probing their surroundings, almost as if he fears they are being followed. Suddenly, a dreary town emerges from the dust. 
The boy suggests they take their rest, and the man nods silently. The two make for a nearby eatery, hoping to shake the road from their weary bones. But instead of welcome, they find a group of bounty hunters gathered at their destination. The lead hunter stares at the child, appraising him. You royalty, boy? His voice is wrath. The boy remains silent, his head hanging low. Perhaps angered by the lack of response, the bounty hunter suddenly draws his gun. Two shots ring out and fade into the dusk. Did you see the flock of black birds that possessed the bounty hunter? They're nasty sorts who like to fly in and warp the story. Well, we are not going to let that stand, are we? Your role is to defeat them and put the story back the way it's supposed to be. But I suppose you already know that, don't Perhaps angered by the lack of response, the bounty hunter suddenly draws his gun. Enemy forces sighted. My turn! Having defeated the hunters, the man turns to his charge. Are you hurt, my prince? I am well, replies the boy. But remember, I am no longer a prince. With a wry smile and a touch of regret, he proposes they take their leave of the town. The man silently nods and gazes upon the boy's face. Your task is to fix warped memories like this in order to restore complete stories. But we also need to collect weapons like these. Do you have a rough sense of what you're supposed to do now, child? Yes, I suppose it is a lot to wrap your mind around. It'll make sense as we find more stories. Don't be afraid to ask for help.
my, what a beautiful place. I can't fathom how anyone managed to construct something so large. You will sometimes encounter black birds in the cage, and you should do what you can to shoo them all out. If you do that, Mama will give you a nice surprise. Opening the menu already, are we? Mama was planning to give you an explanation later. Are you sure you want to fill- That's right. No need. Well, here's the second one. Wherever people gather, stories come with them. But saloons have a special ability to loosen even the tightest of lips. Such rumors are what brings the woman with the mechanical arm and leg to this place. For she is a bounty hunter in search of her prey. she obtains from the patron seems vague, but it is more than enough. Gathering herself, she exits the saloon in pursuit of her target. A lone bounty hunter blocks the woman's path. His breath is ragged and foul, his eyes a pair of tiny beads. Give me all your money, he howls. I'll cut down everything in my way. Is over in a moment. The woman's sigh is carried off by the wind. 
no mediocre highwayman could hope to stand against her desire for revenge. The woman heads for the forest in pursuit of her target. We collect stories in order to regain what you have lost. But we also do it to make your wish come true. So let's keep it up. Slow and steady wins this race. I should tell you a little bit about the cage. It's a truly massive structure. Where you woke up, and this sandy area here, are just small parts of it. To be honest, a great deal of the cage is a mystery. I'm not even certain who gave it that name. surveys his surroundings. It would appear he is searching for food. The expression on his bandaged face is clouded. The grasses rustle ominously. It seems the man is not the only one in search of food. The animals in this place are lean, starving, and they will do what they must to survive. Enemy forces sighted. Secured his prize, a man returns to the church.
the sound of his worn boot heels echoes throughout the dilapidated chapel. A boy lies at the back, his face drawn and haggard. The man kneels down and offers some of the food he collected. But the boy is too weak to hold it. His body will not allow him to accept even this meager meal. The boy tries to brush it off with a feeble smile, but the man just stares down at him in silence. that poor sick child had to travel the wastes in his condition. Still, we've restored the third memory now. If we can collect the next one, it will mark the end of the staff's tale. 